Go yeah, ahead, you can make, make a couple comments. Um, I've been listening to this now for the last 45 minutes to an hour, and I, I would like to say from my seat, I'm starting to feel concerned that I've been sold a bill of goods. Uh, there is a crisis of leadership. You have heard from our distinguished leaders who are some of the finest in Joe Serrera and Bert Contreras. Maureen Byrne, who has been in the high school for years, <laughs> saying very, very clearly, I have, I've done my own research. This board and this facilities department has, I think, done eight facilities workshops. There is analysis paralysis. And I am extremely concerned with what might be an exodus of some of our most phenomenal staff and leaders if our leadership, which is all we're asked to do, is to put all of the information together, which these folks have done long before I got here. But I did do my research, and it was very clear, very precise, and yes, there are always risks. You're dealing with students, you're dealing with teachers, you're dealing with parents. And that's why I think, where do we stop the analysis paralysis? Because in just the two months I've been here, it's been overwhelmingly clear. Ed specs have been approved. Leadership has spent exhaustive days and weeks and months and provided more documentation than is humanly even available to, to comprehend. And here we are saying, well, what about the $8 million and what about this? And we're still going to have to put some portables. We, we all know that. That hasn't been a mystery. We've got 70 right now. And I'm very concerned, and thank you, Amy, for reminding me that I have not signed my contract. <laughs> because if I feel that I've been sold a bill of goods when you've asked me to lead, and you've asked Joe to remain and lead, and you put your trust in Bert and in Mark and in Matt and in Maureen and in these teachers and this staff, and then to say, meh, sorry, I'm very, very concerned. I've done this for 30 years, and I do not want to see an exodus of amazing people when we are at the precipice of doing such phenomenal work uh, for our school and for our district. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really shocked. We've passed all the ed specs. It's gone okay. one after the other. All right. I'm done. With that, I'm just going to make a motion, and then we'll have to decide. I'm making a motion that we approve the contract award for construction of the Dublin High School Engineering and Science Building 